This is a quick video on making a residual plot. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get AC and the GAWK, I'll call that GAWK, into our calculators into list 1 and list 2. So um, you can enter that in yourselves or if you have it saved already, let me take this opportunity to show you how to recall that. So let's go to stat and edit. Notice my lists are empty. If I go up all the way up to L1 and then I find my list and the lists are stored under lists. So second function and stat. And then I just have to look for the variable that I called AC. And here it goes right here. This is AC. So I'll press enter. And now this says L1 is going to set be set equal to the list AC. And if I press enter, then those numbers will pop up. We got 62, 101, 104, 129, etc. So let's do the same for L2. So I'm up at L2, second function, stat, and I have to look a little further down because I have a lot of variables saved on my calculator. But if I just keep looking down, I eventually see the gawk list. So I'll go ahead and enter that and enter again. And so I have 12.8. 15.7, 14.2, etc. So that's the first step. Next step is I want to get that regression line into Y1. So I'm going to perform a linreg calculation and put my equation into Y1. So here's a little shortcut. The default for the linreg calculation is L1 and L2. So if I skip L1 and L2 and just put my Y1 variable in, this will run the same way. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go to the home screen, second function and mode. So that quits to the home screen and then I will press stat, right arrow to calc. And then we've done this enough times that you know that's the number 8. So you can either press the number 8 or scroll down to where it says Lin Reg A plus BX. Press Enter to select that. And now I'm going to bypass the L1 and L2 because that's the default. So I'm just going to go straight to VARS, Y VARS, Function, and Y1. So if I press enter, this will run. It'll give me my the equation of the line. 5.175 is my A, 0 0.096998 is my B, and I have my uh, correlation coefficient 0 0.9897. So now that I have that, I know that my Y1 has the regression line and I will just go ahead and check that. I'll press Y equals and here's my regression line. Now I'm ready to go back to my list and fill in L3 and L4. So I press stat and edit and now I want to move this into L3. I'm going to right arrow and go up to L3 and then this is controlled by my Y1, so I'm going to press VARS, select Y VARS, and then a couple of enters to get my Y1 on my screen. Notice this says L3, no parentheses, L3 is equal to Y1, and now I want to input my X values. To input something in here, I'm going to open parentheses, and my X values are in L1, so I'm going to go second function and the number 1, and then I'll close my parentheses. So now if I press enter, my L3 is going to be full of my predicted values using the equation of that line. To find the residuals, 
let's go to L4 and this is going to be a simple subtraction of the Y values and the predicted Y hat values and so the Y values are in L2 and the predicted Y values are in L3 so while I'm up in L4 I will select L2 second function and the number 2 minus because I'm subtracting and then L3 second function and the number 3 and then I'll press enter now I have a column full of errors residual errors and if I just take a quick glance at it some are positive some are negative that's a good sign and so now I'm ready to plot this so to create a scatter plot your plot is going to be the X values which was in L1 and instead of the Y values in L2 you're gonna plot the uh, residual values in L4 so I'm gonna go ahead and press uh, well let's go back to the home screen first and then I'm gonna press second function and stat plot so I noticed that I have my L1 and L2 scatter plot for my plot number one I want to turn that off for this activity I don't really want to change this into L4 because I'm used to having my plot number one be my scatter plot so I don't want to mess with this I just want to turn it off so let's go while that is selected let's press enter and then right arrow to off and then press enter and then now it's off now I can go to a second function and stat plot again or I can just arrow up to plot 2 because I want to control plot 2 I'm gonna go out of here and then go to stat plot again so I went there just to see that my plot 1 is now off now I'm gonna work with plot 2 so plot 2 is off I want to turn that on I want to make that into a scatter plot and then I'm gonna want L1 and L2 I'm sorry I'm gonna want L1 and L4 so let's go ahead and fix that up enter while I'm highlighting highlighted in number two I'll turn this one on this is plot number two I will arrow down and select the scatter plot type I'll press enter and now I have a list and my X list is in L1 so second function number one my Y list is in L4 remember that's where the residuals are and then I'll just keep this for my mark so at this point we're ready to see the plot I'll just go to zoom oops always go back to the home screen so let's go back to the home screen now let's try zoom and number nine is zoom stat you can scroll down and find zoom stat or you can just press number nine and here's my residual plot so this should look a little similar with my scatter plot but the horizontal line here represents kind of like the the zero the x-axis and you have some points that are above positive and some points that are below negative okay so that's how you do your residual plot